Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta has met leaders from northeastern Kenya as one month as the one month deadline by the leaders to name radicalized youth, supporters, and financiers of the Al Shabaab draws ever so close. Details of the closed door meeting remain scanty, though. As Rita Tinina reports, the meeting was held as the Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet sent new police chiefs to Garissa and appointed detectives to investigate the Garissa attack. It's been 19 days since Northeastern leaders announced a one-month self-imposed deadline to release names of radicalized youth suspected to be members of the Al-Shabaab militant group, their financiers and supporters of terror activities in the country. With 12 days to go, the Northeastern leaders met President Huru Kenyatta at State House Nairobi in a closed-door meeting. The meeting came as the Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, appointed a team of five detectives to investigate the 2nd of April attack on the Garissa University College. The team will be led by the head of investigations at CID headquarters, Mohamed Amin. Ngatia Iregi, Lydia Ligami, Bruno Socio and Jason Moria are members of the team. The team will try and establish, among other things, why security agents in Garissa failed to prevent the attack after being forewarned about an impending attack. The five detectives will work alongside five prosecutors appointed by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Keriako Tobiko, on Wednesday. The appointment of the detectives came as new police chiefs were deployed to Garissa in a mini reshuffle following the interdiction of nine Garissa security and administration chiefs. Shadrach Maithia is the new Garissa County Commander, while Nicholas Miner is the county's new OCPD. Baringo County Commander Hassan Barua moves to Nakuru. John Mwoki was a Nakuru County Commander, will now work at police headquarters. The Trukana County Commander Emmanuel Carissa has been moved to Vigilance House. Rita Tinina, KTN.